Hello friends, this is Samarth and welcome to my YouTube channel that is Love for Anatomy. And today we are going to discuss about a very important topic that is the adductor canal, which is also referred to as the hunters or the subsartorial canal. But before we start with our topic, I would request you guys to please take a look at my previous videos as well. Now let us get started with the adductor or the hunters or the subsartorial canal. Going by the definition, it is an intermuscular space of around 15 cm in length. It is situated on the medial side of the middle one third of the thigh region. In this diagram, you guys are able to see the anterior aspect of the upper thigh region. And this blue, blue dotted line represents the femoral triangle. And this black dotted line represents the adductor canal, which is present beneath the sartorius muscle. Now let us look at the extent and the shape of the adductor canal. The adductor canal extends from the apex of the femoral triangle to the hatus magnus opening. As you guys could remember, this hatus magnus is a small opening in the muscle adductor magnus. This right here is the apex of the femoral triangle. That is, it is a point where the medial and the lateral borders meet. So the adductor canal extends from the apex of the femoral triangle to the hatus magnus, a small pore of the adductor magnus muscle. The hunter's canal is around 15 cm in length and it is present beneath the sartorius muscle. Now let us look at the shape of the adductor canal. The adductor canal is of triangular cross section. This diagram represents the transverse section of the adductor canal in which you guys could easily see that is it that the adductor canal is of triangular cross section and now let us talk about the boundaries of the adductor canal since the cross section is triangular in shape the adductor canal should have three boundaries and that are the anterolateral boundary the posterior medial boundary which is also the floor of the adductor canal next we have the medial boundary which is also the roof of the adductor canal the anterolateral boundary is formed of the vastus medialis muscle. Now, in the transverse section of the adductor canal, you guys could easily see that the vastus medialis muscle form the anterolateral border of the adductor canal. Right here, this muscle. The posterior medial boundary or the floor of the adductor canal is formed by the adductor longus above and the adductor magnus below. That is two muscles form the posterior medial border. This right here is the posterior medial boundary of the adductor canal formed by the adductor longus above and the adductor magnus below. The medial boundary or the roof is composed of a strong fibrous membrane which is overlapped by the sartorius muscle. This right here is the medial boundary of the adductor canal formed of a muscle that is a sartorius muscle and here is the fibrous this is a strong fibrous membrane which is embedded with the subsartorial plexus that is this membrane plus the sartorius muscle form the medial boundary or the roof of the adductor canal now let us talk about this subsartorial plexus embedded in this fibrous membrane but before let us review the boundaries once more the anterolateral boundary is formed by a muscle known as the vastus medialis. The posterior lateral or the posterior medial boundary is formed by adductor longus above and adductor magnus below. The medial boundary or the roof is formed of two, stru two structures that is the sartorius muscle and the fibrous membrane embedded with the subsartorial plexus that we are going to talk about now. The subsartorial plexus is a network of nerve fibers made up of the branches of three nerves that are the branches of the saphenous nerve, the branches of the anterior division of the obturator nerve and lastly from the branches of the medial cutaneous nerve of the thigh. All these three, all the branches of these three nerves form the subsartorial plexus which is embedded in the fibrous membrane right in here. The subsartorial plexus supplies the facial lata and the neighboring skin along the facial lata. Now let us look at the contents of the adductor canal. So there are total five structures included in the adductor canal. The first is the 
femoral artery along with the muscular and the descending genicular branches in the central region of the adductor canal we have the femoral artery this right here is the femoral artery the second content we have the the femoral vein the second content is the femoral vein which is present posterior to the femoral artery this is the femoral vein next we have the saphenous nerve this is the longest cutaneous nerve of the human body the third content is the saphenous nerve right here this is the saphenous nerve it is present anterior to the femoral artery next we have the nerve to the vastus medialis muscle this is the nerve to vastus medialis present lateral to the femoral artery this nerve supplies the vastus medialis muscle next we have the next we have the anterior and the posterior divisions of the obturator nerve these two are the anterior and the posterior divisions of the obturator nerve let us review the contents once more first we have the femoral artery this is a 3d this is a diagram representing the 3d manifestation of the femoral triangle and the adductor canal in here you guys could easily see the path of the femoral artery it first enters into the femoral triangle then it enters into the adductor canal here it gives the descending genicular branch and other muscular branches as well after it crosses the opening in the adductor magnus muscle that is known as the hatus magnus it converts into the popliteal artery therefore the femoral artery is the content of the adductor canal next we have the femoral vein posterior to the femoral artery then we have the saphenous nerve anterior to the femoral artery then we have the nerve to the vastus medialis lateral to the femoral artery and then we have the anterior and the posterior divisions of the obturator nerve so guys this was all about the adductor canal the hunter's canal or the subsartorial canal if you found this video interesting and informative please do like share and do subscribe my channel signing off love for anatomy